Everyone knows GitHub stars are like a badge of honor for us devs. They're supposed to show that your project is useful, credible, and backed by the community. But here's the plot twist. There's a literal black market where you can buy thousands of GitHub stars, the same way wannabe influencers buy fake Instagram followers. Yep, people are actually paying cash to inflate their repos, and it's not some tiny corner of the internet. Researchers have found tens of thousands of fake accounts, millions of dollars changing hands, and it completely warps how we judge open source projects. So why does this matter? Because GitHub stars aren't just internet clout. They're literal influence. A repo with a ton of stars shows up on GitHub trending, gets featured in newsletters, and suddenly looks like the next free code camp. That visibility brings contributors, maybe even funding, and sometimes the maintainers themselves land better jobs just because their code looks popular. For a dev, thousands of stars are basically a LinkedIn flex that screams, my code gets more love than your entire career, you peasant. So yeah, it makes sense that people would want to juice those numbers. But the black market side of it is wild. There are actual shops and telegram groups selling promotion packages. For example, this seller promised a thousand stars in about a week. Others go cheaper, like 80 bucks for a thousand stars, but those come with the fine print. They'll look obviously fake. You're a phony! Hey, this guy's a great big phony! Some sellers even coach you to spread the stars out so the growth looks organic. And it's not just stars. You can buy fake forks, watchers, even followers. Researchers uncovered more than 63,000 accounts involved and profits running into the millions. At that point, it's less a scam and more an unofficial SaaS business. Stars as a service, if you will. Now, who actually gets hurt? Pretty much everyone. Fake stars totally skew how projects are ranked. A repo that suddenly racks up thousands might hit trending, which then gets real developers poking around thinking they've found gold. GitHub Explore emails might blast it out to thousands of inboxes. Startups might even adopt it, assuming lots of stars equals a safe bet. But if those stars were bought, that repo might be held together with duct tape. Imagine betting your company's product on some shady package just because a dude in Ukraine sold the maintainer 5,000 stars for pocket change. It's not just unethical, it's dangerous. And then there's an even dumber trick, starjacking. That's when someone uploads a package to NPM or PyPy and links it to a totally unrelated GitHub repo with thousands of stars. Suddenly their random package looks like it's backed by a massive community, when in reality, it's just piggybacking off an unrelated repo. This has already been abused to impersonate projects from big names like Telegram, AWS, and Alibaba Cloud. It's one of those exploits that makes you go, seriously? That actually works? And yet, it does. So how do you avoid getting duped? Thankfully, there's a free Python tool on GitHub called Fake Star Check. It looks for sketchy star patterns, like sudden spikes where hundreds show up overnight, and it checks the accounts behind them. But if you want your repos to grow and to become a better developer the right and legal way, you need to make great projects, and there are tons of real and credible GitHub repos out there that can help you make amazing, unique projects. The most notable one is Build Your Own X, which is now the number two most starred GitHub repo. And don't worry, those stars are not fake. I checked. Thank you for sitting through yet another tech rant, and if you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe to become a fellow codehead.